I read Pride and Prejudice at school. It was the same week I came out. Well, sort of. Not that it had anything to do with the book, but I guess, in a way, it did. You see, we were reading it in class. I was 15 with my long hair and careless attitude that the teachers mistook for being rude, but was really just an excuse for not wanting to be seen. Because that's school, isn't it? Those who want to be seen and those who don't. And I wanted to go by completely unnoticed. That is until I was paired with Charlie Withers, the hottest boy in the year. And he knew it. Charlie was definitely one of the kids who wanted to be seen. I think it was the laddish arrogance I was attracted to. Well, that and his annoyingly perfect jawline and toned body like that of an athlete. He spoke with a rough accent, but the words fell out of his mouth perfectly like he knew exactly what he was saying while I stuttered through it. We had to read each other passages in class, you see, like I was his Elizabeth and he was my Mr. Darcy. He helped me when I would struggle with a word and I would stare at him as he smiled at me never knowing whether it was out of pity or genuine kindness. I was never particularly close with Charlie. We weren't friends, we just had classes together, that's all. But I'd think of him often. I guess you would say he was my teenage crush. But that all changed a few days later. I was walking home, earphones in, drowning out the world when I was knocked over by some prick on a bike. The collision knocked my phone out of my hands before I knew this guy had picked up for me. A kind gesture had it been a different situation, but this wasn't that. This was Charlie, holding my phone. My phone which had a photo of him as its screensaver. Some photo he had posted earlier on his Insta a photo which would fool you into thinking he was my boyfriend. Stupid, I know, I should have been more careful, but... You just never know. You know I honestly thought, you know, he could have been like me. When he saw it, you should have seen his face. It was like he had caught his parents shagging or something. A look of disgust. I'll never forget it. And he threw my phone back to the ground, shattering the screen, like some act of fate tearing right through me. He called me a faggot after that and spat in my face. I just stood there. Frozen solid. Even after he got back on his bike and had ridden away, I just stood there. Well, that's not the heartwarming coming out story you were expecting, was it? Well, I didn't expect it to happen that way either. <laughs>